Welcome to episode 247 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host, and today I'm standing outside in Syracuse in early November, and it's 70 degrees outside. And I'm going to tell you why that is so significant. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So it is 70 degrees in upstate New York. I've lived here for 20 years. I've never had a spring or a fall time that feels like springtime, I guess I should say. It has been in the 60s and 70s for weeks. And typically right now, we are experiencing frost and we're starting to get those 25 degree nights and it is getting cold and we're starting to button up, bundle up, button everything up. But that's not happening this year. Instead, people are out walking around in t-shirts and sneakers, some flip-flops, motorcycles are zipping around. And I'll tell you why. I know, I know, I know, I know. People in the South right now, my friends down there are like, oh, it's like this all the time. You're an idiot for living upstate New York. It's all, we, we have 70s and 80s. I get it. It's warmer in the South. I understand. But for us here in upstate New York, where it's really cold in the wintertime and it lasts a little bit longer, but we get some benefits on the other side. I'll talk about that later. The reason that we can appreciate it so much right now is because we understand the other side of the equation. And that principle, the fact that you can only appreciate things as much, as high, as the depth you feel on the opposite side is true in all of life. Actually, they talk about this in filmmaking and storytelling. You can only connect with the main character as deeply as you can feel their lows. You can only go as high as you feel in the lows. And so it's got me thinking that this is so true in all of our lives. I've had some friends this year that have gone through some significant health issues, surprisingly, like they came out of nowhere. And what I've noticed in each and every situation as I've talked to them, as I've watched them on social media, in every single situation, what I've noticed is this. Going into it, this is because they've expressed this, that heading into it, the life that they had prior to the thing happening, they were struggling in it. They felt like it was a little mundane. They weren't appreciating things. And then this thing happened. And then they were faced with significant hardship that took them out of all the regular life things that they were a part of, whether it was family things, whether it was business things, whatever, personal enjoyment things. And they started to grow a deep appreciation for the things they thought were normal or mundane or the things they felt stuck in when that was taken away from them and they faced some hardship. Only then could they truly appreciate what they had and then when they got back to that, could appreciate it even more. I've seen this in my own life. I, I Fortunately, I, I love traveling. I get to travel. I get to meet people. I get to go places. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. However, when it's after I've been gone for like a day or two, I literally start to feel like this this hankering to go home. And when it's time to go home, I literally get so excited. The day I wake up when it's the day to go home, my whole demeanor changes. I wish it wasn't like that in the sense that I could stay a little more balanced while I'm gone, but my whole demeanor changes. I feel better. My, my head feels clearer. And that is because if you've heard it said absence makes the heart grow fonder, that's the truth. You can only appreciate the presence and intimacy and togetherness and closeness if you also can experience loneliness or separation that's you can't appreciate it if it's always one way which is why i don't understand how people in san diego can appreciate sunshine because it's just always sunny right you ha you take it for granted it's always sunny but when it's cloudy for a long stretch of time and you get some sun you feel it in a different you appreciate it in a different way for those of you who have kids that left and gone to college what happens when they come home you appreciate them more than when they left you realize what you had. And so today, in this day and age, like everyone's pursuing, it seems like so many people, I won't say everyone, that's terrible to say. So many people are pursuing and pursuing things in life that make it the same every day and that make it like easy street. And that's such a lie that if you let it sink into your persona, if you let it sink into what you pursue, you're gonna miss the point. Because pursuing those things Eventually, if you get that every day and always, you're going to totally lose perspective on life, which is why people that grow up with nothing or they grow up in a financially challenging situation or an emotional situation or an abusive situation, those people tend to be more adaptive. They tend to be more um, 
creative. They tend to be um, more entrepreneurial because they've appreciated what it is to start with nothing, to have nothing to work with. And now that maybe they get some resources or get some healthy relationship, it really allows them to go because now they have the tools and resources and the finances and whatever it is to do more. So my real, my real thought and message that I wanted to share, the perspective and the clarity that I wanted to bring is a clarity and a perspective that I'm gaining right now is that is what is it in my life that I am not appreciating because I haven't experienced the other side of those things. Or maybe uh, it's been a long time since I've experienced those types of things. You know, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, Gary V, somebody who I've spent some time with, who's a mentor of mine, he always talks about when he wakes up, he gives himself a perspective check and he actually imagines his life. He plays this mental game where he lost, you know, like his, it's kind of morbid, but like where his children, something happened to them, like, and yeah, very morbid, right? But he literally does this and there's a motorcycle right now, right? Because it's November and it's 70 degrees in Syracuse. If you heard that in the background and it's kind of morbid what he does, but really what he's doing is giving himself perspective that if I lost that, this is how I would feel. So let me appreciate what I actually have today. So I hope that this gives you some perspective on those things that maybe it'll help you appreciate some of the things you have a little bit more, but maybe it will also help you push the ball a little further and push into discomfort because the pursuit of comfort is actually the easiest way to lose. The pursuit of comfort is the easiest way to forget the things that really matter to you because you can only appreciate things as much as the struggle you face on the other side. So I hope that you will lean into that today. I hope that you will look for some others that are maybe in the middle of that and encourage them with this as well. In the meantime, I'm going to spend time outside for the rest of the day and tomorrow and Sunday and the next day, which is Monday, because it's so nice out in upstate New York. I'll see you next week. We came to fight.